if I won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a boat and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret in Can be a pain. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret code, code, Space rock. Nothing special. My friend, I would have that you, as a seasoned poet, would appreciate the beauty. Bah, 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 bah. Ah, what? Are the poems not writing themselves again? Perhaps our friend's foul mood is not due to any creative crisis, and he might be a good candidate for our work studying with the brain. You what? what? Mood, one might say, is conceived in our head, or more specifically, the brain. The brain consists of dozens of billions of nerve cells, or neurons, all connected to each other. When we think, feel, and operate our bodies, neurons constantly communicate with each other. When the neuron is firing, electric impulses run along its branches to other neurons. When several impulses at the same time reach a sleeping neuron, it wakes up and starts firing. The places where neurons contact each other are called neural synapses. Neurons are separated from each other by a small interval called an asynaptic cleft. When the impulse from a firing neuron reaches a sleeping one, a special thing appears. A neurotransmitter. The neurotransmitter affects receptors and the sleeping neuron wakes up and starts firing. For the brain to work properly, neurons have to communicate constantly. Neurons are also responsible for our mood and their neurotransmitter is called serotonin. If these neurons for some reason stop communicating, then we can start to feel depression, insomnia, paranoia, and even aggression. Chap, I do say, we don't joke about those types of things. We need to treat Wally. Ah! Wally! That don't move! It's Nothing irresponsible in regards to your health. We need Is to watch after him and provide us with the brain. Even aggression. Enough! Just because I don't share your happiness doesn't mean that there's something wrong with me. Maybe you guys are the problem. Huh? There's another symptom for you, paranoia. You guys are the symptoms. What was, was that? Ahem. And the stabilization system is out of whack. And where'd Wally go? <laughs> the trauma isn't fatal. Just a minor injury. <laughs> Nothing serious. Wally, you'll get better. I... One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. I'm great. Rosa or the kitchen. Ah. Oh. Hi, Crash. <laughs> I feel much better now. 
Everything with my head is... N nah, I'll go to Rosa. <laughs> Hello. I I'm completely healthy. Congratulations. I um, can we... You're free. Hmm. Something about this comet. I can't shake the feeling that there's something wrong here. There's something wrong here everywhere. I'll be darned. Hey! Everything's okay with me! <laughs> and with my head! Congratulations. He's smiling still. Everything's all right with him. What's up with him? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Olga, and I am completely okay. That's strange. Everything's too strange. Chico, maybe you can tell me why everyone's acting so strange. That's what you thought? No, oh, did you see them? Do you understand? No? Ah, I understand. I always suspected. Walking around, whispering in the background, everyone is against me. And what are you smiling for? Ah, you are one of them. Me? You what? got what something you that up idea? your sleeve. What was that? What, did something happen while I was sleeping? Aha! At least someone's normal. Pin, pin, base here, come in, over. What do you need? I'm glad that at least you're okay. Working as always. By the way, what are you doing? Dismantling the sphere jet. What for? Ah, I'm tired of it, stupid piece of metal breaks all the time. But we'll all die. Well, I have a space suit. What happened here? What? Well, well, let's have a look. Ah, uh, Doko, could this be one of your experiments? I'm convinced that the success of space travel depends on teamwork and the crew's positive attitude. Why do mood neurons sometimes stop communicating? Let's imagine that our brain is a computer. Sometimes, due to large tasks, the computer freezes up. It's no use knocking my risk-taking friend. The computer needs to reload. The brain has a reset button, too. It's called Zone 25. From time to time, it reloads our brain so we don't get frozen up in a bad mood for too long. But sometimes, Zone 25 stops working itself. Then the neurons stop communicating, and depression begins. Unfortunately, we can't always control our emotions. This case with Wally has clearly shown that. I used Spheroscope, and after having examined the future, I created an injection which will make Zone 25 not only invincible, but will also force mood neurons to communicate more effectively. I call it Friend Tonin. It will help us to be friendly and, dare I say, very <laughs> happy. But in order to make sure it works, I need to first block serotonin so that I become a um, Gloomy and unfriendly. My friend, fix your stabilizing system. 
It's impossible to work. I've already fixed it! I see. I have blocked serotonin. And everyone else inhaled it through the ventilation. Hmm, but how come it didn't affect me? Because you were in the infirmary. The air is filtered there. Ha <laughs> ha. Hi. Oh, oh, look at the comet over there. Well, look, he's still all smiles. I'll be darned. He's figuring something out. Our friend just likes to be very special. But no big deal. We'll heal him. <laughs> You'll be like everybody else. <laughs> Crash. <laughs> him now. Ah. The subjects in 3D. Don't let him get into the laboratory. <laughs> Is the suit a little tight? Oh, my dire... Oops! Cool! Uh-huh. After friend Tonin, the comet looks even better. My friend, you need to accept it. Enough, my friend. We saw today that you can paint everyone with the same brush. Wally's position is a protest against the soulless technologies of the future, isn't it? No, I just like being special.